As we have already established, globalization refers to the pace and scope of interconnections crisscrossing the globe. Anthropologist Arjun Apadurai discussed this in five specific scapes. Ethnoscapes, technoscapes, idioscapes, finanscapes, and mediascapes. Ethnoscape refers to the flow of people across boundaries. Examples are people such as labor migrants or refugees travel out of necessity or in search for better opportunities for themselves and their families. Leisure travelers are also part of this scape. Technoscape refers to the flows of technology. Apple's iPhone is just one example of how the movement of technologies across boundaries can radically affect day-to-day -day life for people all along the commodity chain. Idioscape refers to the flow of ideas. This term is most often used with respect to the politically based ideologies and key terms thereof, used by governments or counter-government groups and movements seeking to claim power. Common examples of idioscapes include the terms of, as well as, notions and images behind democracy, welfare, human rights, and so forth. Finanscape refers to the flow of money across political borders. Examples include cash or electronic equivalents like bank transfers, stack via stock exchanges, currencies via the currency exchanges, commodities via the commodities markets, and in today's era, things like decentralized virtual currencies such as Bitcoin via peer-to-peer -peer mechanisms as well as exchanges. Mediascape refers to the flow of media across borders. In earlier historic periods, it could take weeks or even months for the entertainment and education content to travel from one location to another. From the telegraph to the telephone, and now the internet, media are far more easily and rapidly shared regardless of geographic borders. So here are a few examples, newspapers, radio, cable news, Netflix, YouTube, and others. Questions about where people migrate, the reasons of their migration, the pace at which they travel, the way their lives change as a result of their travels, and how their original communities change can all be addressed within this framework. Questions about goods, and ideas that can travel without the accompaniment of human agent can all be answered using Apadurai's notion of scape.